I am Kapka, K-A-P-K-A, -A, and I come from Bulgaria, and I think that independent living movement knows me as the good witch of independent living. Because I'm very tough on independent living, and because I'm very straightforward. When it, yeah, when it comes to um, issues of freedom, disabilities, and um, all issues related to these. Okay. So this is me. I bet. I see. Do you like to be a witch? Do I like to be a witch? Yeah. Wow. I know that, well, I... I don't mind being the good witch, yeah. but if um, if I'm associated with the bad witch, no, I don't like it. Well, no. I hope you see me as the good witch too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah, do by do you by do you like to be straightforward? Because uh, I don't believe in um, um, I don't believe in stupid political correctness. Okay. And I don't think that fundamental human rights issues can be resolved through di diplomacy. Okay. And usually, um, diplomatic kind of uh, diplomatic speech and diplomatic kind of expression are those uh, which are not straightforward. And uh, when it comes to fundamental uh, human rights, uh, it doesn't work. So mm -hmm. I, I firmly believe in, in, in human rights and in order to have them in place, to have disabled people live their human rights, have they enjoy their human rights, we need to be straightforward. We need to be um, revolutionary. Because what we are doing is a revolution. Okay. Um, getting out of institutions, getting out of our homes where we are stuck because uh, of being disabled, it, it is a revolution. Okay. And we have to admit it. And uh, um, I don't think that soft measures can work. Why? Why? Soft measures can make people less miserable. Yeah but not happy. And I want to see people happy. I want to see myself happy. And this is what independent living uh, can offer us. Uh, not less miserable. Okay. I see. And this is what witches do. They go for revolutions. <laughs> yeah, I see. But also they bring happiness, if you don't know, okay. in our culture. Okay. Then did you get involved with it? Well, it was, um, you know, actually I got my disability when I, I was seven months old. Okay. And I got polio. It was in 1957. And um, despite the the situation in my country where most disabled people were, were closed um, behind walls either of their homes uh, with, with families or in institutions I uh, managed thanks to my, my parents of course to go to school to graduate university and I always believed that there is something wrong with that but in 19 19 let me think, 1993, I had the chance to um, go for a year to the United States and study um, NGO management, where I met wonderful people from the American Disability Movement, an independent living movement, of course, people who were uh, quite revolutionary. And then I came, I somehow understood uh, what, what's wrong? 
and how it can be fixed. So I can tell that I am involved in the movement since 1995, 93, 94, and in 1995, uh, when I um, got back from the States to Bulgaria, I um, got several of my friends, disabled friends, and we set up the Center for Independent Living in Sofia. Okay. So we are going to celebrate our 20th anniversary next year. Okay. And we accept presents. <laughs> Any gift is welcome. So, so you said you want charity. No, we don't want charity. Mm -hmm. uh, gifts are not charity. Gifts for the 20th anniversary will be uh, a wish of luck. Not a charity. <laughs> and, uh, and something that I can be proud of is that the Center for Independent Living in Sofia didn't have one single penny of charity. All the money that we operate on are project money from public sources. Unfortunately, not Bulgarian, but still public uh, sources. And we account for every single penny which we receive for implementation of projects of importance as we find it. What sources? Well, currently we have um, our basic funding from Open Society Foundations in New York. Um, but, but, yeah, we, we, we had money from British sources, from um, Uloba, by the way, yeah. uh, the Norwegian organization. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the European Commission, uh, not big money, but still, um, any sources, but not Bulgarian. Why not? Because um, there are probably two reasons which I can think of uh, without pretending for being exhaustive. The one is that the government will never give us a penny because we are fighting the government policies. Okay. And charities, we do not ask them for money, A. B, they go basically for funding um, um, either social services or individuals to get better care. But in any case, charities provide funding or give you money to take care of somebody, and we don't want to take care of anybody. We want to see people empowered and supported well enough to take care of themselves. So probably these are the reasons that we don't have Bulgarian funding. I see. 